There's just one more study I want to include because I do think that it shows some pertinent information when choosing the aromatase inhibitor for yourself. So this study is called Comparative Study on Individual Aromatase Inhibitors on Cardiovascular Safety Profile and Network Meta-Analysis. The third generation aromatase inhibitors in astrazole, letrozole, and exemestane have now become standard adju adjuvant endocrine treatment for postmenopausal estrogen receptor positive breast cancer, complementing chemotherapy and surgery. Because of the absence of direct head-to-head -head comparisons of these AIs, an indirect comparison is needed for individual treatment choice. In this network systemic assessment, the cardiovascular side effects in using anastrozole, letrozole, and exemestane based on original studies on AIs versus placebo or tamoxifen were compared. So a meta-analysis is basically a study of studies. So it's aggregating a bunch of relevant information and trying to draw conclusions based off of that. So now, admittedly, there there's no strict head-to-head -head studies, so they had to basically aggregate this information and make a conjecture based off of the raw data. But when you actually dig through this information, what you'll find is that in terms of the trends, letrozole seems to be the most dangerous, followed by exemestane, followed by anastrozole being the safest. But I think this is generally true, and it gives you a good sense of how these medications work, the general risk profile, and the level of suppression. So just to kind of keep it very simple, anastrozole, tried and true, used all the time, good degree of estrogen suppression and generally considered safe. Letrozole, hard level of estrogen suppression, could be potentially dangerous. Exemestane permanently renders the an aromatase enzyme inert. Generally, same degree as, of suppression as anastrozole and may be slightly riskier than anastrozole in a cardiovascular sense. 